Mr. Judd, or M Mike Judd, was my teacher in the UK. Um, he taught me from the age of 16 to 18. So these were um, kind of critical years for me um, intellectually and and in, in terms of my personality. And I moved, I think, not inconsiderably because of his influence on me from being a very unconfident thinker and uh, learner to being somebody who really enjoyed it and saw the point of it. And he was um, a history master in my all-male, very traditional, old-fashioned English grammar school. But he was young. He had a kind of um, a more easygoing rapport with the students than many of the masters who were older, crustier, tweedier than he was. He played rugby, football, um, so we had an instant kind of respect for him because he was kind of somewhat athletic where the, most of the other masters were very definitely not. Uh, but as a historian and somebody who's worked with history all my life uh, ever since and read history at university, written history books, um, and now fellow of the Royal Historical Society here in the UK, he really made me feel that history was important, that it was alive, that it was important because of now and not because of it, some kind of abstruse thinking about uh, events long ago. And most of all, he made me think that it wasn't just about dates. It was about trends. It was about society. It was about the lives of human beings. And that was a kind of transformative experience for me in being able to um, appreciate the books that I was reading. And not only did he make me appreciate the books that we all had to read, you know, we were told what to read, but he made me go to the library and find books about the things we were studying that were not on any reading list that he gave us. And so that process of me going, because he enthused me with the subject matter, to go to my local public library and look on the shelves to see what else I could read about this very interesting topic, whether it was the French Revolution or, um, you know, the transformation of society in the 19th century because of industrialization. Um, that was that was what the trigger to me, I guess, becoming a librarian was because of his his influence and his kind of articulation of the intellectual importance of the study of history.